Hello everyone and welcome to today's session. My name is Vaishnavi and today we are going to discuss something very very important which all the kids have doubt about what is this CLAT and how do we start with the preparation, what to do, how many questions come, there are thousands of types of questions when you start preparing for something like CLAT. So let's talk about it. This session is to explain it to you what exactly it is and where does it get you. What comes in the question paper, what comes in the examination paper and how to approach it. So let's get started with the session. I'm excited. Hope you are too. Okay, so now CLAT 2024 jo exam hai, CLAT is common law admission test and it the the test is conducted by the Consortium of National Law Universities, NLUs, and it is conducted generally in December. Now we have no dates, but we have seen that again the consortium has told us that uh, CLAT 2024 ka exam December 2023. Mein so we know that for now at least. Uh, mode of exam kaisa hoga offline hoga you cannot give the test online aap exam online nahi lete ho aap offline hi exam uh, uh, dete ho total uh, minutes jo aapko milte hain to answer the questions in uh, in this exam is 120 minutes you get 120 minutes and how many questions? Very, very important question. This is something that every student wants to know. How many questions do you have in that you have to answer in these 120 minutes? It's 150 MCQs. Okay, so it is not descriptive answer type. Aapko options milenge for every question, right? So all the questions are MCQs and they are there are 150 questions. And that is why people struggle so much because 150 question aapko answer karne hai kitne minute mein? 120 minutes mein, right? So this is what we are going to prepare for the entire year. This is our target ki aap, you are able to complete uh, all MCQs, uh, 150 MCQs in 120 minutes and how to do that what will get you there we will have we have another video about that as well so stay tuned uh, so 150 mcqs and how much marks does these mcqs have so every mcq is one mark right so you get one marks for every right mcq that you attempt Negative marking hai ki nahi hai. Again, this is a very important question. Yes, CLAT has negative marking and it is 0.25 for every wrong answer. That means if you make, if you give four wrong answers, eight marks deduct hone ke pure chances hai. Okay, so negative marking is something that brings your scores down. So you have to make sure that you are, ek to aapko, you have to make sure ki aap 150 MCQs attempt kar rahe ho. Dusra, you have to make sure that all these MCQs that you are answering happen to be right. Okay, so because if you make any mistake over here, if, you're, uh, if your answer is wrong, point two five marks will be deducted from your score okay so this is all about the test the exam okay so it is common law admission test conducted by the consortium of national law and universities uh, and it is conducted in december if you want to get into the top nlus uh, then you have to definitely write this exam agar aapko kisi bhi nlu mein top 10 nlus mein ya top 3 nlus mein admission chahiye to aapko ye exam likhna hi padega definitely now moving on eligibility criteria kya hai is exam ka eligibility criteria kya hai in the sense ki kon likh sakta hai ye exam who can write this exam Anyone can write this exam. It is as simple as that. But let's talk about the el el eligibility criteria. So you have candidates must have passed class 12th. What should you have passed? Class 12. 
or an equivalent examination from a recognized board or institution. So, aapko 12th pass karna hai by any recognized board or institution. So, it, it is not necessary ki aap uh, uh, ICSE board ya CBSE board ya any state board se hi ho to hi aap exam de sakte ho. Agar aapne 12th um, complete kar liya hai, to you are eligible for the exam. Now, but a uh, lot of students want to practice before they uh, give the final exam. So, the, some students who are in 11th as well want to give the exam and they want to know ki kya hum exam de sakte hain. Answer is yes, absolutely, you can also give the exam. But if you qualify, if uh, let's say you have qualified for the exam, then you have to produce the certificate jab aap ex admission lene uh, ja rahe ho. To, uh, आपको अपना सर्टिफिकेट दिखाना जरूरी है कि आप 12th पास कर लिए हो 2024 में मई अप्रैल में आप uh, 2024 में पास कर ले ही कर लिए हो देन यू आर एलिजिबल टू अपीयर फॉर 2024 हाउएवर हाउएवर सच कैंडिडेट्स मस्ट प्रोड्यूस द सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ क्वालिफाइंग एग्जामिनेशन एट द सेम at the time of admission, failing which their admission will be cancelled. So, if you can't show that you have completed this year, then you can't take the admission naturally. Nahi le sakte ho. But uh, uh, obviously, when you are in uh, your 11th standard, you will not be taking admission. But yes, you can definitely give the exam. Now, ab, the next question is minimum qualifying marks kya ho kya hai is exam ka kitne marks lana hai 12th mein then we, we will be aisa nahi hai ki sare bachche jo 12th uh, uh, complete kar liye hain they all are eligible almost all are eligible what is the uh, criteria candidates must have passed their qualifying exam that is uh, the class 12th with at least 45% 45% aggregate marks. So, your aggregate marks should 45% and above. Hona but ST and SC candidates, ke liye, uh, they are required to secure 40% or equivalent grades. So, 40% or equivalent or more uh, for SC and ST uh, candidates and for general candidates, 45% aggregate marks is the criteria for you to write CLAT. So, very simple, not something, it is completely doable uh, and you see how easy it is to qualify for CLAT. Now, that's what makes it interesting. Now, age limit kya hai? Ki, kya main CLAT de sakti hun? Can I give CLAT? Uh, can anyone give CLAT? Yes, the answer is yes. There is no age limit for appearing in UG CLAT 2024. Koi age limit nahi hai. To koi bhi age group ko belong karte ho. You can give the exam if you have scored obviously 40 or 40% 40 and above in your 12th for SC and ST uh, candidates and 45% and above for general students or candidates so and for pursuing llb course in national law university so there is no eligibility criteria whatsoever not for giving clat not for taking admission in the course as well the llb course you don't ha there is no age limit there is no age bracket just me aapko fall karna hai tabhi aap is exam ko de sakte ho so that is an advantageous situation again so that's what makes this exam so interesting anyone can give this exam um, your minimum qualifying marks is also not mm, that high that is required or on uh, and the syllabus is something that is limited but yes you have to practice it a lot in order to uh, secure good marks and uh, fetch one of the nlus so i hope this uh, video helped you in understanding what is the age criteria what is the um, what is the criteria that you qualify for this exam what is the age limit or um, Jitne bhi iske around ki kitne marks ki question hote hain, 
all that is clear now uh, before i wind up this session i also want to talk about key uh, in my next video i would also like to talk about um, what is the syllabus okay we have spoken about eligil eligibility criteria we have spoken about um, the requirement of for uh, for age limit requirement for this exam and next video we will be talking about what all do you need to study for this exam so stay tuned for the next video and hope you like this video if you like this video please make sure that you subscribe to my channel uh, and you subscribe to an academy and stay tuned for more videos like this thank you